Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I've got a really awesome video today. And this is some technology called Nanotech from an awesome developer called Christian Keller. And he's got this technology which is similar to what you might have heard of before in the Unreal Engine, and that's Nanite. I got the chance to send Christian some questions so we could get an in depth look of exactly what his technology he's making and how it can help you in Unity. And if everybody likes the video and comments down below on what they would like to see and know, because I might be able to have a sit down video with Christian about the specific workings of it with some real time demo showcasing exactly what the technology is about. So I'm going to give you a background of Nanite and how nanotech is similar but with its differences and what Christian has been doing and trying to overcome. So simply put, when you import a high resolution mesh into the Unreal Engine, it analyzes this mesh and breaks it down into visual clusters and triangles. It can create LODs for each of those clusters. So then each of those clusters, when they're not being used, can be culled off screen and reduced in resolution as distance goes away. Normally you would need to make a low poly version of your high resolution mesh, bake out a normal map. That then has an overhead because of the texture size. But with these systems, you can bring those high resolution meshes, no need for extra textures like normal maps. You will save on storage space. So therefore you, you don't need to worry about that anymore. Games can be smaller, can have much more realistic assets and also benefit in so many different ways. What's Christian doing and why is Nanotech for Unity such a great thing? Now, Christian's a software developer and he's been working for over the past 10 years, whether it's been in games, XR apps, specific products, whether it's in Unity, Unreal, even things like heads up display prototypes for BMW. And I asked him what was his inspiration for making the technology. So he started thinking about this and getting the details when announced the unlimited detail engine about 10 years ago. And he had the ideas in his head to make something similar, but he never really tried it out. And after he saw the Unreal Engine 5 preview, which was the Lumen demo that they created, he started making something similar in Unity. He didn't really have a great start point because there wasn't much info around it. So he started making a cluster system based on Octrees. He had a working version in a few weeks. And he also tried with geometry textures, but he ended up with a clustering that worked better, similar to Nanite. Now, I asked how the actual technology differs from Nanite. So with the clustering system being based on this subdivision system that I previously mentioned, it is similar to what Nanite uses for its clustering but there's pros and cons when you look at it side by side. So he's looked at the original papers from Federico Ponchio's multi-resolution papers, and there's advantages compared to what he was previously using for Octree. And Federico's papers are the main source of what Nanite uses to base its technology around. So the main difference between Nanite and how the rendering system works in Nanotech is the deferred material rendering. This just uses one material for all meshes. So this allowed Christian to still use Unity's rendering API as it's to be able to create a flexible system. So the basic example is if you take different kinds of materials, like you could take opaque, transparent, or subsurface style materials, you will get one draw call per material type. And that means you will still have different opaque materials, but they all get rendered together into one master material on one mesh. And all of the meshes are combined in nanotech. And then I asked, what can it help others do? And what is the overall aim for using nanotech? Like Christian said, it's basically you import a high resolution or if you want a low resolution mesh as a nano mesh, and it will be automatically rendered with the nanotech system. And he said in recent tests, the rendering system was 10 times faster than the normal rendering setup that Unity has because it renders basically everything in one draw call and automatically creates an LOD system under the hood with mesh clusters just like Nanite. And I wanted to know for everybody else, and I'll put all the links down in the description, where you can find more information about how Christian is going to take this further, about his Indiegogo campaign, and more information about it. You, you can check all the upcoming videos on his YouTube channel, which I'll link down below, and the launch to his Indiegogo campaign, which you can sign up for the newsletter for that too. But there will be more details and of course, comment down below if you have any questions with the purpose of this, because as you can imagine, he's only one person. What's the purpose of the Indiegogo campaign and why should you support him? Because if you imagine 
if the Unreal Engine, they've got massive teams of developers. Christian's only one man, so it's a difficult thing to do by yourself. So he wants to create these great unique assets for unity but of course you need a budget to be able to do that and if you wouldn't mind by yourself it's a little bit hard so he really wants to hire freelance developers to be able to help him out with nanotech and make the development faster and more stable and get everything done with that also to be able to hire people out for quality assurance testing on a high level so that he'd be able to work you know the kinks out over time and he wants to take this as a main driver for his work because sometimes the assets and other projects don't make their way into fruition because you don't have a great deal of time but he wants to make this his main focus of work and if he has the support from the freelancers he can split the work up and focus on the important parts which allow to iterate on faster development and i asked him what's the future plans and this time scale that we should expect and he said that you can check out his github page all future plans that you will want to see and he's working on a specific lighting system that is already started but he's paused that because he's trying to get nanotech into the beta stage so Christian is hoping that the alpha version of Nanotech is available in the last quarter of this year, maybe earlier if he gets the support that he requires from the campaign and gets the people on board that need to help him bring it forward. And he stopped his game development process of his game Freedom Flight to focus on what he was trying to achieve here. And the last thing I asked is how will customers get hold of Nanotech when it releases? Christian told me that if you're a backer of the crowdfunding, you will get early access and also depending on the tier that you will have, you will get access to other tools that is in the process of making or made at previous times. Price will be much more affordable on the Indiegogo compared to the final release. And as a backer, you'll be able to import the asset via the package manager and also get access to private GitHub repositories. Christian will be creating a Discord server for support and information that you'll be able to see and is also going to be creating a simple import system similar to what the Unreal Engine has because then you'll have more control as an artist and a user. Christian in the future wants to create a unified physics system to create cloth dynamics which will be accessible to all backers in the future. Be sure to leave your comments down below on what you'd like to know and do let me know if you'd like to see more of a hands-on demo with exactly what Nanotech can help you do and I'll leave all the links down below in the description for you to check out all the links that I've mentioned today and make sure to sign up for the Indiegogo campaign and we'll get to see more in the future. So thanks very much for coming to check this video out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.